Welcome to day three of our snowy vlog. The roads are quite icy. It freezes overnight and then melts a little and gets a nice slick layer on top. We don't have school this week. We're having an unexpected winter vacation. <laughs> Welcome to day three of our snowy vlog. The kids are having their third snow day in a row today because that's how it works in Washington. People are not used to driving in the snow here. The roads are quite icy. Even though they've been plowed, there's ice that's packed down and just freezes overnight and then melts a little and gets a nice slick layer on top. And then it freezes again at night. And so we've been having pretty treacherous road conditions so basically since we only do school monday through wednesday we don't have school this week we're having an unexpected winter vacation here it's actually been kind of nice most people are like oh i can't wait for my kids to go back to school <laughs> but i'm actually kind of enjoying it because we've been having so much fun in the snow and having family over and we've been all playing in the snow together so yesterday we had some friends over and i don't generally want to vlog when we have friends over just because you know i don't want to put other people's kids on the internet but yesterday while they were over they tried the sled run for the first time like the really good slick sled run on the pavement and I didn't get a chance to try it so I am going to try it today so wish me luck Bill is going to go first just to show me the little route and how to do it and like where to stop and everything so wish me luck <laughs> so I found this sled at a garage sale several years ago and it looks like it's straight out of the 50s like, I'm pretty sure that that's when it was made. And it, it still works amazingly well. It's a little bit rusty around the edges, but it has the steering feature, which is fantastic. Yep. And that works amazingly well. So we're going to go give it a try. You ready, Sophie? Yeah. All right, let's go. We'll go slow at first. I can give you a push. Okay. All right, here we go. Grandma will give us a push. Now? Yep, thank you. There we go. This is a good blood run. Nice gentle slope. <laughs> in my pocket because we're getting going so fast I needed to use both hands for balance. But that was fun, wasn't it? You want to go with Daddy? <laughs> He's wearing adult-sized boots today because the other ones got totally wet inside. There they go. 
Yeah, that's a good run. Man, we haven't had conditions like this since we moved here to be able to sled like that. It's melted just enough today to make a snowman. It's been so cold and powdery that it was not compactable snow. But today it's a little bit warmer. So they are managing to make a snowman. I dug out our old little saucer sled from the garage. <laughs> now Grandma and Alex are trying it down the little hill. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Glad everyone is okay. Now Sophie says she wants to go on the flying saucer. <laughs> Snowman success today. It is packable enough. When the sun shines on it. Yeah, well, you got your snow from where the sun is shining on it. <laughs> don't get your snow from where the sun don't shine. I won't be putting that in. Are you helping, Sophie? It's gonna be the neck. That's gonna be the neck. That's the snowman's neck, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm here for, to be the neck. You're so helpful, Sophie. She's so helpful. You need to put the neck on there? That's oh, that's the, that's the neck right there. Okay, Sophie. You're adorable, you know that? That's our Sophie. Yep, that's our Sophie. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is the new bird. He sings a song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow we can build a snowman. Well, he lost an eye, but there is Bill's snowman. He looks like one of those little pig people. The kids are enjoying having him right outside the window so that they can see him when they go up and down the stairs. Oh, hello there, sir. What are you up to? Are you making little messes? Little diaper butt? You doing that thing one-handed now? <laughs> you have to figure out how to hold on to your puppy dog and push that thing, huh? never left the ground. We still had about mm, three, four inches left from the initial 10 inches that we got. And now, Snowpocalypse 2.0, as I'm calling it, is upon us. It's supposed to 
snow and wind is supposed to come in tonight and it's supposed to be going on for 24 hours and we're supposed to get another five to ten inches so this is crazy in february getting this much snow is very unusual especially considering we had an almost spring like january it was like warm so here we are out playing in the snow again <laughs> so our kids had no school this week there were three days of school canceled they don't have school Thursdays and they had school that day and then they canceled again Friday. Basically an entire week off of school and it may happen again next week too. So this is crazy. This is crazy. But we're going to make the best of it. And that's the beauty of homeschooling too is that we don't have to fully stop school. We can still do our homeschool routine. So we're missing our at school stuff but we're still getting our homeschooling in. So that's good. But we're just going to make the best of it and go play in the snow, aren't we? Yeah. Unfortunately, this little guy and Sophie yesterday had a tummy bug. That wasn't fun. Not fun at all. But me and Bill and Alex have been taking activated charcoal. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't get it. That wasn't fun. That was your first tummy bug. Dada. You see Dada inside vacuuming up all of the big old crummy mess that you make under your high chair? Oh. 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 What is this snow? Dad. Yeah. Should we go play? Dada. Dada. Hi. You're a sweet little guy. Yes, you are. Dada. Sophie, you brought ball. your brother a ball. It's snowing again. This is probably the most snow you've ever seen, huh? We can do a little science. Well, Alex, come here. Did you guys know that snowflakes are beautiful when you look at them up close and that they're all different? Every single snowflake looks different. They look the same to me. We have a little science lesson here. But I here. wanna get a magnifying glass. Yeah, Sophie has a magnifying glass. Bring it here, Sophie. You can see the ones that land on your coat, you can look up close. See how they land? And look at each one. See the ones on your coat? Each one is a crystal. Look at the snowflakes. Do you see how each one is its own shape? Take that magnifying glass and look at snowflakes and see how the, each crystal looks different. A little unschooling science. They're going too fast. Well, you have to catch them on something that you can see that's dark. See, so like, look at the ones on mommy's coat. See? We'll watch a video about how snowflakes work and what they look like up close when we get inside. So he's gonna make a snow angel. Yay! Good job, Sophie. <laughs> that's a good snow angel. Here. Now turn around and look at your snow angel that you made. Isn't that nice? Let's go examine the little snowmen we made in the previous snow. They're starting to collect a whole new layer on top of them. Big Mr. Snowman that Daddy made yesterday is now getting a whole new layer on top too. He's growing some hair. He's not balding after all. It is coming down. Having a little snow snack here, I see. I'm eating snow. How's it taste? Good. What's it taste like?
Sophie can't be stopped. She broke off an icicle and is eating it now. <laughs> You're the pip. Yes, you are. No, I like the olive. Yeah, no, let's not break them off because they're pretty and we want to see how big they'll grow. And if you break them off, you'll never find out. Look at these ones under here. Holy moly. That is quite the bush. Check out this one. This one's the giant three foot icicle we've got going here. <laughs> and it keeps getting bigger. So we're having a zero calorie icy treat here. We got some snow from outside. Yeah, diluted vanilla stevia and it makes it taste like ice cream. I think I'm gonna have some too. And we'll have plenty of supply of the snow for the next few days so we can have icy treats. I mixed a couple squirts of this with enough water to fill this up. This is just the sweet leaf stevia drops that we use, the vanilla, and you just mixed it up with a little water yep. and made it like a syrup, basically. What is that? You say pepper? Pepper. 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 Turkey. Cop. Turkey? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say pepper again? Because it's just so cute. Pepper. 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 <laughs> Good job. We're verging on running now. Oh, they're neck and neck. Coaster in the Winter Wonderland? Yeah. Whoa. Look at you guys. You're adorable. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. 56. And then they were at six, 60. And then they were at 67. And then they were at 69. And then now they're at 79. Is it 79 or 72? 79. 79. We're talking yeah. about how many moons Jupiter has and how they keep discovering more. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Goofball. Alright, time to go to bed, silly boy. <laughs>